What is going on everybody? Welcome to my True Lies movie review. Now, if this is your first time watching one of my should have seen it by now, the concept of the show is very simple. I have not seen before that is considered to be a classic. I create a safe space for us all. You know, people who love movies, but we have our blind spots. There's huge classic movies that we haven't seen. This is a safe space for us where we can talk about these movies we've seen for the first time and not feel any sense of shame. And now I am finally reviewing the James Cameron classic True Lies, which so many people love. It has a huge following, and it was just re-released in 4K along with The Abyss and Aliens, other James Cameron movies. So the movie's popularity is on the rise yet again. Now, True Lies follows a spy who's played here by Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he's a pretty good spy. He may not know how to do missions without a lot of... <laughs> a lot of physical damage, but you know, he usually gets the job done. But then one day he starts to suspect that his wife actually might be having an affair with him. And naturally he gets super jealous and tries to use his spy assets to try to figure out if she is in fact cheating on him. But in the meantime, terrorists are forming to, you know, bomb certain cities with these nuclear weapons. So he has to try to take down that threat while also handling his decaying marriage. And then a fun action adventure movie ensues. Now True Lies is just a movie that somehow escaped me growing up. You know, I was always a big James Cameron fan, but like The Abyss, which I'm probably gonna be reviewing on another episode of the show, because I haven't seen that yet either. But now that I've seen True Lies, it's only natural for me to see The Abyss. Both of these movies, they kind of just escaped me growing up. I never caught them on TV or DVD or anything like that. And I just never got a chance to see them. Now, what did I think of True Lies? Do I think it deserves all the love that it's been getting from its diehard fans? I think that this is a very fun action movie. I don't think it's a perfect action movie, but I think this is a very entertaining watch that mostly holds up, especially in terms of its practical action stunts and action sequences. Now, James Cameron is no stranger to big budget movies. This is a huge big budget spy movie that's got tons of explosions and action sequences all of which look and sound fantastic. I mean, James Cameron knows how to shoot an action movie, that is for sure. All of the action sequences in this movie are phenomenal, especially like the two climactic action sequences, one that takes place like on a bridge, incredible, another that takes place in the city that has to do with like a helicopter and, you know, buildings getting destroyed. That's also great. But I do think that the highlight action sequence for me happens early on where it's Arnold Schwarzenegger on a horse chasing a terrorist through what looks like a mall. And it's such a thrilling sequence, a kind of action sequence I haven't seen <laughs> ever, in my opinion. And it's just so entertaining and so quintessentially James Cameron. Cameron-esque. So the action sequences in this movie and just the action in general in this movie does not disappoint and is some of James Cameron's best work full stop. Secondly, Arnold Schwarzenegger, ladies and gentlemen. Arnold Schwarzenegger rules. I mean, the 90s, the 80s and 90s were just his heyday where he, he was an unstoppable, immovable force. And this movie just fully cements that. His charm, his charisma, once again, is on full display. He's great in the action sequences, but you know, his line delivery remains golden. He gets some really great one-liners in this movie that are classics. And you can tell he's just having a lot of fun playing this character and being in this movie. And I always feel like James Cameron got some of his best performances out of him. And I, I do think True Lies is no exception. I think this is one of his most fun performances and one of his most fun movies. And you have Tom Arnold who plays his spy buddy who helps him out on a lot of his missions. He's a fun addition. And I do think Jamie Lee Curtis, this is one of my favorite roles of hers. You know, she plays his wife in the movie who he suspects is cheating on him. And I think she gets to play so much in this role. And the thing I've always liked about James Cameron movies is that he likes his female characters. He likes to flesh them out. He likes to give them arcs. He doesn't just see them as disposable objects, which I enjoy a lot. And this movie, thankfully, is not an exception to that rule. I really do think he gives Jamie Lee Curtis so much to work with. She goes on quite a journey, you know, from this humble, shy housewife trying to find this thrill outside of her marriage to becoming a spy a little bit in her own right after she discovers the truth about her husband. I think she goes on quite a journey, and I think Jamie Lee Curtis just nails every little beat of that journey. And the movie's got a nice mix of action and comedy, and I think it does a great job establishing the relationship between, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jamie Lee Curtis's characters. It establishes their marriage well. You understand why they're kind of in a rut, because, you know, he's holding back secrets, and, you know, she's bored, and, you know, that one simple conversation could change the whole dynamic of their marriage for better or worse. And I feel like Jamie Lee Curtis and Arnold Schwarzenegger, they have solid chemistry, surprisingly. Honestly, when I, when I was beginning to watch this movie, I was thinking to myself, are they gonna have chemistry? I just can't picture them together in a movie and especially romantically, but I think they really work as a couple and especially in the climax of the movie where they have to work together to get out of a really precarious situation. I think they're having a lot of fun and they play off of one another great. Now, like I said, I don't think this movie is perfect by any stretch of the imagination. There is some really cringy dialogue. There are some jokes that just flat out do not work. Some humor that is really 
it's just dated and has aged like milk. And the storytelling is fine, especially in terms of this terrorist threat. It's nothing we haven't seen before. It's very cliche and predictable. And this movie's also way too long. It, it clocks in at two and a half hours and it feels like it has two climaxes. <laughs> like I said, you know, there's this whole bridge climax and then there's another climax that happens in the city where Schwarzenegger's trying to save his daughter who is being held hostage. And I feel like both of them serve as climaxes, but this movie didn't need like a double climax. It just kind of felt like it went on about 20 minutes too long, I think. Still entertaining, but definitely too long. But in the end, True Lies, it's a very entertaining action movie. I think it's one of Cameron's best action films. I think it has some of the best action of his career. And it just reminds me how great of a practical action director Cameron was in the 80s and 90s. I really felt like his action movies, they felt so tactile and so grounded. And yes, of course, there's some special effects and green screen here, but there's a lot of great practical stunt work that looks fantastic and you just can't beat real looking action where there's no CGI and where it's just great stunts done well and shot well. True Lies, should I have seen it by now? Yes. I think if I had seen this when I was a little kid growing up, I think I would have watched this a lot more and I think I, this would have been one of my favorite Arnie movies growing up. So I really enjoyed it and I'm very happy that I finally have seen it. So that's my take on True Lies. Have you seen the movie? Let me know in the comment section below what you think of it. Uh, if you have seen it, did you love it? Did you hate it? Are you middle of the road on it? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to follow me on social media, put my handles at the bottom of the screen as per usual and they'll be in the description as per usual. And make sure to follow my film podcast, Film on Tap, where every other week I get together with my buddies. We talk about movie news, trailers, we review movies. We go on weird, wild, hilarious tangents. It's a blast. Links to that in the description as well. And until next time, everybody, I'm Tom Chattelbash, YouTube's most reliable movie critic.